All right, it's a beautiful day. Hope you're doing well. If you're holed up, I'm with you. I'm with you right here. And uh, hopefully, we're gonna have a good day. Let's do it. All righty, welcome to uh, the video. Please pound that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Today we're doing another episode of uh, Nine Hole Goals. Let's do it. So I wanna stay aggressive. Uh, conservative aggressive is gonna be the play today. So. I'm gonna have a fairway goal, uh, which is gonna be five fairways. That's gonna be my conservative play, five out of seven holes, uh, two par threes. So five out of the seven, have to hit fairways. Aggressive, I'm going three birdies this time. This is uh, the easier of the nine holes here at Braemar Country Club. So we're going with three, and it's not raining today. So I'm adding one from normal, step it up. And I want to also hit greens. So because I'm going fairways, I want to make sure I'm hitting greens. Um, we're going five greens I have to hit. So uh, five out of nine greens. That's it. Five and three of those have to be birdies. My work cut out for me. So you know the deal. If I achieve all three goals, you got to hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and the bell. That's included in your deal. If not, I promote another YouTube golf channel that has fewer subscribers than me at the end of the video. And I'm on foot today. I'm walking it. Whew, I'm tired. I'm going to need a sandwich or something. Uh, let's go. Not the best start. 87 left. Got to go over this thing. All right, so far, so bad. I missed the first two fairways. Horrendously. Four iron and the snap hook a driver. Gosh, I might have to press. <laughs> I gotta hit every fairway now. Uh, maybe I could press and like promote two channels. Nah, that wouldn't be fair. All right, I gotta start hitting fairways. Let's go see where my ball is. Let's see if I can get a birdie here and a green. Got to take advantage of these par fives. I got two greens and one birdie. And I can't miss a fairway. All right, I got a par three coming up. So I got a little break from a fairway for a minute. Try to figure my life out. The main tip for this video for you is this. And I really never know what that's going to be until we get out here because every round of golf is different. What's going on with you is going to be different every time. I've hit two horrible tee shots, okay? And I have to hit all the fairways from here on out or I lose the challenge of a par three here. So tip is this, work on your driver swing when you're at the par three, okay? So I'm at the par three, so I got 176 to the pin. Typically when I'm snapping hooks and doing stuff with my driver, it's because I'm too quick. So I, I don't wanna work on that on the next tee box with my driver. I wanna, I wanna do it now on the par three. So I've got an iron, 176. I could get a seven iron there, but that's going to encourage my fast swing. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to take one extra club and just try to dial it down here and kind of settle down into the round. And that's what I'm doing here. Six iron. Smooth it up. Okay. 
So the goal is that by doing that on the next tee box with my driver, I'll be able to duplicate, duplicate that same swing and have a smooth, nice little shot with my driver. Fairway finder, that's what we're going for. So that's a good one right in the middle of the green. Got another green, that's three. It's pretty good for hitting horrible tee shots. But now, you know, have you, have you ever had those rounds where you're like, shoot, I can't find a fairway. I need to hit a fairway. That's what today is now. How to hit a fairway when you're struggling. nervous about that one you are too I know it we got it smooth swing it's my best drive of the day obviously wasn't gonna take much to outdo my to get my best got a fairway one of the books also one swing doesn't mean you're fixed so I have a tendency also to get loose at the top like this so I want to work on that when I'm laying up now to the par 5 so I'm gonna hit a 7 iron I should be able to lay it up in a pretty decent spot with this but I want to make sure that my swing is a little shorter and I'm just feeling this move here okay not when I get long I do this so keeping the swing short really feeling like a, a short swing uh, is gonna help me but again I don't want to consciously practice that with the driver that's difficult do it here with the seven My swing still feels a little off, but we're working that out. Luckily, I don't have to hit any more drivers, but I'll probably hit one more. Uh, just so tight and narrow, uh, and I have to hit fairways now. Looks like the green goal is in reach. But I, the thing is, there's I've played three birdie holes, legitimate birdie holes, and I only birdied one of them. I was hoping to birdie two of those three. So now I have to birdie two more. And they're not easy holes. They might be short, but they're tricky and tough. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get a better look than that the last three holes, but we can do it. We can do it, folks. Come on. I didn't want to say anything, but this is the scariest, most challenging fairway to hit on this side. And I usually hit four iron, but I need a birdie, so. Um, what's cool, the good news is that shortening my swing, trying to get a smooth drive, uh, has really dialed in my irons today. I, I think I've hit every green. Uh, I have 103 here. Of course, I say that right now. 103, I'm hitting a 54 degree wedge. Um, hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself, but I feel like I could uh, fire away at this with all confidence. Well, not all confidence, but a lot of confidence. I don't know if I jinxed myself, but uh, I, that ball flew weird. I think it had some mud on it. It had a lot of rain. And it started at the flag and then went, woo, took a hard right hand turn. Dang it, now I got a hole out from the bunker.
whew, took a gamble there taking the driver on the tee but I knew that I wanted a short the shortest possible distance into this hole got the fairway fired at the flag and I know this course a bit I know you got to be left of this flag but the flags on the left so you still want to be on the left side of it believe it or not just a tough putt anywhere else so I've got my I had my green goals I've hit like every green well, I missed one but uh, got my green goals got my fairway goals I missed the first two so I did all the rest got them Whew. pressure uh, I have this hole either make this putt and get my three birdies or miss it and I have to birdie the ninth and that's not the one you want to have to birdie. It's a tough uphill part three. Right, so let's uh, let's see if we can do it. Took my time on that one. I wanted. I knew it. I knew I had to have that one. Uh, my gosh, it's a good day. I'll tell you what. So what happened? I did my goals in eight holes. I'm still gonna play nine. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, if I birdie the ninth hole, I'll still shout someone out. That's how hard it is. I'm gonna give it my best shot. All right, so let's go see if I can do it. Okay, I hit a good shot. I'm just in the fringe, so I'm gonna have to chip it in. I don't know, it's possible. I didn't want to make a bogey on my last hole. That was, uh, that was a good nine holes, huh? Um, here's the deal. I wasn't hitting it great, especially with my driver. So we managed to go, I think, three under par with, uh, with not playing your A game. All because we set goals that we could achieve and we just kept our focus the whole time. So make sure you do that. Nine hole goals is what we're doing. Uh, I won the challenge this time, so you gotta like and hit the bell and subscribe. That's your, that's your deal. You watch the video, you gotta do it. Anyways, uh, till next time, love you guys and uh, take care. It's crazy out there.